So guys, Tarvud here, so you don't know which one to grab between the HP and the Lenovo Windows Mixed Reality headset. Let's see which one is the best in this comparison. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. If you like what you see and want to keep being updated about VR and tech in general, please consider to subscribe, clicking or tapping the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. That'd be super, super appreciated and will help a lot the channel. But anyway, let's get started and let's see what makes them so much similar and so much different at the same time. Let's start like always talking about some specs. So they both have LCD display 1440 by 1440 in resolution. They both have Fresnel lenses and no physical IPD adjustment. They are obviously both part of the Windows Mixed Reality platform. So the two cameras at the front are easily explained. They both rely on the audio jack for audio and microphone. They both are in plastic and are pretty, pretty light. They both have the same Halo style fitting with a dial on the back. And they both had exactly the same controller with just different branding. So what makes them different? Actually, little, little details Then they make a lot of different at the end. Let's start talking about the comfort and the fitting right now. So as I just said, they both use the Halo style for fitting and no, not that Halo. And that weight is gonna be distributed pretty much on your forehead. But when the HP is gonna be more flat, feeling a little like a hard hat, with the Lenovo, it's gonna be more oblique, as you see. And so it's gonna use the last part of your school over here to balance. That means that it's gonna be more stable on your face, but at the same time, it's gonna press a little more on your face and the forehead. Talking about the weight is 500 with grams with the cable compared to around 700 with the cables. But personally, I have to say that feels pretty, pretty much the same. Talking about the shape, the HP is gonna feel a little smaller because this part is a little more narrow. When the Lenovo, even if it's not, so don't take my words like perfectly, but it's gonna feel a little more bulkier compared to the HP. For paddings, the HP use fake leather materials that are pretty, pretty easy to clean from the sweat and feel a little hard, but kind of comfy. On the other side, and also premium, on the other side, the Lenovo use super cheap material cloth. They really feel cheap and kind of inopportune because they're very, very minimal. But on the other side, compared to the HP, when you can't replace it, here are replaceable. So, they're gonna absorb all of your sweat, but you can always throw them in the washer if they are totally soaked. Gross. And talking about the face cushion, they both are in foam and both are replaceable, but when the HP is gonna feel pretty, pretty comfy on your face, like feeling like at home, with the Lenovo is really very, very slim and feels like very, very cheap. So you're gonna feel the plastic through it pretty much every time, making a little different. They both are, as I said, anyway, replaceable. So you're gonna be able to go with aftermarket solutions, but I feel like you're never gonna need it with the HP because anyway, as is the fitting for the HP is never gonna press much on your face. When for the Lenovo, probably you're gonna have to opt for an aftermarket solution. Also for the nose thing, the HP has the best method used for me in every VR headset, where it's gonna block completely with this little plastic thing, the light bleeding and everything from the area. So you're never gonna be able to see out of it. And the foam that is pretty thick is gonna take out all the light bleeding. When in the Lenovo, you're gonna see a little light bleeding from the side and of course from the nose because what they use as a solution is the cheapest thing ever. So they just keep going with the foam all around the nose. So that is gonna close a little your nose, but of course you can cut it and go with aftermarket solution. But on the other side, you're gonna have that part open. So you're gonna feel a little like the Oculus Rift when you were able to just read text while you were using VR. Part of the comfort is also created by the cable arrangement because we, they both have the flipping mechanism. But when the cable over here, you had to trick it a little, like stuck in the audio cable in the ring to make it functional every time and to have your cable over there. 
on the ooh, on the HP this part is never gonna interfere so even if the cable is pretty heavy you're gonna be able to flip out and in every time and also they have a big big huge difference and is the detachable cable on the HP that makes the HP perfect for portability and storing or like footer proving for wireless when maybe we're gonna have a small cable and to put the wireless adapter over there when in the Lenovo the cable is just there so it's not replaceable on the other side though with these this part is gonna be pretty heavy so it's gonna lie on your ear every time as I said in the full review making it kind of uncomfortable when on the other side you don't have the footer proving and all the storing uh, good things about the detachable cable but it's gonna just feel more light and more comfortable overall so it's really really up to you if you prefer detachable cable or not so which one is the best for fitting I have to say they both have pros and cons when the HP is gonna feel like a loose, warm winter hat, the Lenovo is gonna feel like a very light and stable wrapper hat. So the difference is that the HP is gonna be more comfortable on the face, but less comfortable in the back, when the Lenovo is gonna be very comfortable in the back, but so much less comfortable in the face. So not a clear winner over here, kind of like similar, but completely different. I'm not gonna talk too much about the look because it's totally subjective and what is good for me could be not good for you. And anyway, the look is not really something that you have to rely on for a VR headset because when you're in VR, who cares? And you're not going like around the road with a VR headset anyway but if you care about like having people in front of you and stuff i have to say that personally i prefer the hp because feels like more a badass like robocop when the lenovo on the other side looks like just a robot with small eyes and i also have to say that the color and the shape make me feel like the hp more premium when the Lenovo, the plastic over here is not so premium and feel a little more cheap. But really, it's not something I will rely on and being kind of look feeling and that's it is really, really up to you. So I'm not gonna talk also about system requirements and platform because are exactly the same. They both go on Windows Mixed Reality, they both have the same tracking, they both have the same controller with same feeling, same plastic, everything the same, they just changed the branding, like I said at the beginning. So what are the other differences? Actually, there are two huge differences. One is gonna be the price that, of course, we have to consider, and the other are the visuals. So let's start with the second and talk what is different in visual that is the most important thing to me to consider in VR. So as I said, they both have 1440 by 1440 LCD display, but on the HP, even if they use the same display unit, the HP is gonna look a little dimmer compared to the Lenovo. I don't know if it's a manufacturer thing, calibration, or it's just for the FOV that is kind of different. I'm gonna get to that in a second, but yeah, it feels a little more dim. It's nothing that I will consider an issue, but when you swap from one to the other, you can notice that. Anyway, talking about the FOV, the Lenovo has 110, so it's totally comparable to what is gonna be the Vive or the Oculus or the other VR player, but in the HP is gonna be 95, so the goggle effect is gonna be even increased. The goggle effect anyway is in every VR headset right now, maybe you can have a glance of not having it with the Pimax at 8K, so it's something that we have to live with for now, but I have to say that in the HP is pretty pronounced, so you feel like you're doing scuba diving, and that can be perfect for games like Subnautica or like other underwater games, but it can be annoying in a way. On the other side though, because the lenses are also more far, so that's why you have the worst FOV, talking back about the comfort, the HP is gonna be more comfortable for the glasses compared to the Lenovo Wear, because the lenses are very close, your glasses are gonna touch pretty much every time the lenses. Of course, when your mileage can vary, you can 
uh, be different glasses or stuff, but it's more possible with the Lenovo than with the HP. Also, because the lenses are far, it creates another little problem for HP and it's gonna be the sweet spot. The sweet spot on the HP will be very, very small. So it will be hard sometime to find the place in the lens where you can see clearly when in the Lenovo being very close the lenses to your face is gonna be pretty easy to find. Also, I try to press a little and trick the HP to make it like a better FOV. But when you get closer to the lenses, for some reason, it creates a, like a blue distortion all around. Anyway, if you know a way to trick it to have a better FOV, please share it in the comment below so we can know how to do it. I'm really, really interested. And in the Lenovo though, there's a trick that you can do and is swap the back with the front. Thanks for the comments and it's gonna increase a little the FOV, but of course it's gonna decrease a little also the comfort. At the point, it's really, really up to you. So which one is the best for visual? I have to say that here I can't be democratic and there's a totally winner and this time it's gonna be the Lenovo. Like the HP can be good for reading text, but just when you are watching exactly in the sweet spot when the Lenovo having a bigger seat spot, a bigger FOV is just enhanced so much more the immersion. And so yes, Lenovo totally winner on the visual. So we are at the end and we have to wrap up everything and take the money out of our wallet. So let's consider the price point. So for prices, they're fluctuating every time, but the HP will be always $50 cheaper than the Lenovo pretty much, at least like in the new market. When the HP was 200, this one was 250, when this one now is like around 230, now this one is 280. So it's always those $50 difference. And on this scale of price point, is a kind of a quarter of the difference in price for 200 to 250, if I'm good in math pretty much that anyway so it's hard to not consider it and that makes taking the decision even more difficult but the clear winner for the price of course is the cheapest that is the hp and you're watching this video to decide which one to get so i'm gonna step up and say something if you're using your device for working environment presentation videos experiences and you want something that doesn't feel weird on your head and you can like share with other people and they're not gonna feel weird either with it and you can just clean in a second you want something super portable that doesn't feel like it's gonna break every second and of course saving some bucks the winner for you is gonna be the HP this thing is gonna be perfect you're gonna be able to do everything you're doing with the other big player in VR without spending a lot of money. So if you're not super sure about the jump, go for it. It's a super great device with some trade-off, of course, but a lot of big cons. So that is gonna make it the perfect for you. But if you are pretty much a gamer like me and you just care about being immersed in VR as much as possible, you don't really care about all the things that I said and you just want something light on your head and it doesn't really feel premium or super sturdy, really who cares? And you don't wanna spend almost double up the money for the big PR brands. So yes, the Lenovo is the perfect one for you. This thing is gonna be super immersive. It's gonna give you the best experience in gaming in every gaming environment, sitting or standing and running around every time you're not gonna have to care about finding the sweet spot or having like a goggle effort fov but all you're gonna have to care is to be immersed in the amazing vr world so yes that one is gonna be the perfect for you so guys thank you so much for watching this was my comparison about the lenovo and the hp i hope you like it so if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike let me know in the comment below what you think about these two headsets and which one is the best for you. I have already some ideas what you're gonna tell me, but please let's share in the comment below and subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!
our first runner up is number 47. And so, yes, this is the winner.